first of all, to give some basic figures, the Amazon basin is huge. The Amazon basin is seven million square kilometers in area. Um, and within it, five and a half million square kilometers uh, remains almost entirely unstudied by archaeologists because the Amazon rainforest is literally being cut down and turned into soya bean farms and, uh, and cattle ranches. And in that cutting down process has emerged things that shouldn't be there at all. Uh, for example, evidence that large cities flourished in the Amazon. There was a Spanish explorer who went down the Amazon River system in 1541 to 1542. He was the first European to cross the entire length of South America from west to east uh, along the Amazon. He reported seeing incredible cities, advanced arts and crafts, millions of people, a thriving culture. Uh, and a hundred years later, when other Europeans got into the Amazon, they couldn't find these cities. What happened was that the Spaniards brought smallpox into the Amazon. Smallpox devastated the local population because there was no immunity to it. There was a massive die-off. The cities were deserted. Within a 50 years, they were completely overgrown by the jungle, and that's why they were not seen by the explorers who came in 100 years later. But now the jungle's being cleared. Those cities are emerging, and we can say that uh, a city like London, which had a population of roughly 50,000 in the 16th century, there were cities of that size all over the Amazon. Wow. Huge numbers of them. And a possible total population of the Amazon that exceeded 20 million people. What? Yes, 20 million. This is the, the latest uh, evidence from the Amazon. And then you ask yourself, how did they do that? How did they feed 20 million people in the Amazon? Because it's a fact, rainforest soils are poor. It's one of the reasons these soya bean farms are a really stupid idea, because once you clear the rainforest, the land is largely unfertile and you can't grow stuff on it for very long. So how did they feed all these people? The answer was, they invented a soil. And that soil has a name, it's called Terra Preta. Archaeologists refer to it as Amazonian dark earths or Amazonian black earth. It's a man-made soil. It's thousands of years old. It's full of microbes that are not found in adjoining soil. It's based around biochar. Uh, and you can take a handful of 8,000 year old Terra Preta and you can add it to barren soil and that soil will instantly become fertile. It's highly sought after in the Amazon and it explains how they fed these people. There was science in the Amazon. How did they create this? Well, this is something that's not understood. It's still not understood by soil experts to this day as to how that was done, but it's one of many intriguing evidences.